today guys I want to talk with you about lenses and the first question you have to ask yourself is what do you want to shoot and then you can choose the right tools to tell your story I will play some b-roll of me doing my meal of yesterday night and I shoot with all of that set of lenses and as you can see you have some wide-angle lenses 16 millimeters f2.8 16 millimeters f1.4 you have some mid-range this one is a 40 millimeter from sigma this one is a 35 from sony for full frame sensors and here we have the kit lenses and the famous 18 to 105 so i will start with those one because when you tell a story it's better to start you can do whatever you want but i like to start by when and where the scene takes place so wide angle is perfect for that you can have the cheap option which is a pancake lens it's very cheap the autofocus is not very good and the image quality is not very good as well next option you have the new 16 mm from sigma at f 1.4 and this is by far my favorite lens because you can have some really shallow depth of field with it the autofocus is very good and the image quality is very good also so if you have a bit more money you can go with this one then when you have set where your story takes place you can shoot some more close-up shots for that you will need some mid-range more portrait stuff the cheap option the sigma 30 mm f1.4 i say cheap but the image quality is awesome the autofocus is awesome and the build quality is very nice i've used this one with my tiny a5100 which is right here so very small setup to go in norway if you want to see the world series you can check my videos about it very nice lens very cheap very affordable and you can do some great cinematic shots with it also i've had the a7 II which is a full frame camera and I wanted to try the famous Zeiss 35 f 1.4 this is an amazing lens it's not cheap at all it's very expensive but you get what you have paid for the image quality is just perfect I think this is the best lens in the Sony E-mount collection if you can afford this one it's just a beast Sony have also a 35 f1.8 for APS-C E-mount cameras but since I have this one I will not purchase the 35 f1.8 I've already had the 35 1.8 from Sony two years ago I was really happy with it but the 30mm f1.4 is a much more cinematic lens and, and this one is even more cinematic so then when you have set your shots then you have set your close-up shots you will need maybe some more versatile type of lenses and once again the cheap options are to stick with the kit lens because you can have great image quality you can have nice autofocus so have optical steady shot in it and it's some nice lenses to start but when you want to have a better image quality a bit better and smoother zoom and also the perfect autofocus i think the famous 18 to 105 f4 is just awesome if you will have to choose only one lens in this kit is to have the kit lens on your camera and the sigma 30 mm f1.4 it's wide enough it's a 45 equivalent in full frame at f1.4 you can have very very nice cinematic videos with this one you can check a lot of videos about this lens online then if you have some more money to spend on your stuff to tell your stories i guess the three lenses that you have to get are those one because you have your very fast widening lens you will have your more standard portrait lens also very fast and you will have your more versatile zoom lens when you don't know what you will need to shoot those are the ones that i will take with me to canada to do the workshop with levi from left coast as i said in the other video i'm going to do the workshop with levi and four other guys and and i think this will be an awesome adventure so guys this is it i hope that you have enjoyed the video 
sometimes I think it's great to talk about gear so you can choose the right tools to tell your stories. I will go out and shoot some more B-roll with my new setup and remember to leave a like and subscribe if you want more of my content. So I will see you guys in the next episode and remember we are writing.